Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I figured I would do three beautiful looks with the Scooby-Doo X Glam Light Creeps and Crawls palette. This is what this palette looks like. It's the bluey, purpley one and it's perfect timing because I recently just redid my hair and it's gonna be a vibe. So if you want to see three beautiful looks with this palette, then just keep on watching. For the first look, I think I'm going to do an all purpley look, but uh, I'm going to start with this matte shade right here. This brush is a V206 brush from Morphe, and my eye is primed with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Primer in the shade Fair Light. So I'm going to start, this is a very tiny little packing brush, and that's how I'm going to start this. Just lightly patting this in. We can blend it out later, but this is how I just, I want to start this look. I don't want it to be too much too soon. I really like this shade. I think it's very unique color. I haven't really seen this color around much. It has like a pinky tone to it, but it also has purple to it. It's like a kind of magenta -y shade, but like a muted magenta shade. Like I feel like this as a hair color would be very pretty. I'm going to take a V205 from Morphe just to sort of blend this out more. I don't not worry too much about the blending. I'm going to put another shade there to blend it out. Taking that same V206, the first brush we took, and I'm going to dip it into this light pale purple pink shade to further blend this shade out. And I'm just going like right over top of that. And again, taking that same fluffy brush and we're just going to blend that out. Looking, uh, looking a little crazy, but it's fine. I'm just going to work with what I have going on, which is a lot, I will say. Every time I use these shades, I feel like I go a little bit overboard. I'm going to go ahead and take my NYX Glitter Primer on the back of my hand. And I'm going to take an LBE3 brush and just take this and pack it all over my lid. I kind of want the shimmers to, of course, be the star of the show. The first shimmer I'm going to take is this deep purpley one on this side. Hopefully this looks good. And this is going like right on my edge of the eye here. I'm not going to really worry about blending. We can always blend it out later. Right now I just want to place the shade down and kind of get the placement right. This shimmer is going to act like... Of course, the color that I'm going to use to deepen up this look. Of course, you can use the matte in here to do that as well. I just didn't want to overdo with the mattes today. I'm going to take that same brush from earlier and kind of just blend this in as much as I possibly can. And because the shadow has a base to it, it's not like a sheer just color, it works as a shade to deepen up a look as well all you have to do is blend it out i love glam light shimmers so when i get the chance to just put a bunch of shimmers on the lid i am going to do it <laughs> The next shimmer I'm going to take from this palette is this one right here. I'm going to pop that right next to that other shade. Taking it up just as high. And I'm going to bring this right on the center. Leaving that inner portion open for one more beautiful shade. Of course I want to blend these two shimmers together. And blend it into the crease shade just so I have something else there. Again taking that same brush from earlier we're just gonna blend all this together and then for my last shimmer on the lid for my last shimmer on the lid i'm going to take this first shade right here and this is going to be what i put right in that inner corner kind of taking it up and kind of meeting it with this shimmer because they look a little they look quite they have similar bases to them i wasn't quite expecting that we're just gonna have a messy shimmery look of course blend those two shimmers on the lid together and this is what i have so far uh, not my favorite look i've ever done but 
feel like some blending will help it out. So I'm going to take that blending brush that I used to blend out the shades earlier. And then I'm just going to take it and just really go in there and try to blend these shades out. So this is what I have so far. I am going to pop on a lash because I feel like that will really help this come together. Also pop in some inner corner highlight with the Glam Light Scooby Doo highlighter. And I will be right back. Here is look number one completed with the lash on. I feel like I can clean it up over here, but I don't know how that would look. But this is what I have so far. I really like how the inner corners and the highlight on the brow bone kind of shine and make this look more, you know, put together. I also put a little bit of highlighter on that center shade to lighten it up a little. And I think that it really did. The lashes I am wearing are the Naked Lashes from Ardell in the style 427. Just trying to get my use out of them because I cut them completely wrong but they make like a cute little half lash moment so that's why i'm wearing them and they're really fluffy and i really like that about them so i'm going to get started on look number two now we're getting started on look number two now i really want to take some of the blues in here maybe do like a nice blue halo eye not sure yet but we will see so i'm gonna take my v205 brush and i'm gonna dip into this very beautiful like teal turquoise shade very pigmented and i'm just gonna start packing this sort of all over but really focusing it more on the inner right here don't worry about blending we can blend later right now i'm just focusing on packing those shades right on in inner and outer and i'm gonna keep the edge kind of rounded over here don't want it to be too winged out like this side is just want to keep it nice and lighter on this side because these colors are already pigmented enough kind of keeping that center quite you know empty or light just taking a small blending brush this is an m506 brush i'm kind of gonna start working to blend these edges of this eye makeup and kind of bringing it towards the crease you know like i'm not putting much pigment there but i I do want to kind of bring what I have in so it doesn't look so plain and like nothing's there. I do want some color and then just working to blend the rest out on these sides. Again, kind of bringing it towards the center. But still working to blend everything out kind of very precisely as well. I don't want to overdo the blending. This is what I have going on so far and what I want to do just i want to kind of make sure that teal shade is right where i want it to be and make sure it blends very nicely into the rest of this and i'm gonna go in with a fluffier blending brush and we're just gonna go in and blend this away further because i want it really nice and blended because this is the only shade that i am going to use as like a blending shade and again going back in with that teal shade packing it in making sure that it looks where i want it to look for the rest of these colors that i'm about to put on top of this i'm gonna take my nyx glitter primer on the back of my hand with that same lbe3 brush and i'm gonna pack this on the center kind of bringing it out more because i'm gonna put more than just one shimmer on the lid of course the next shade i'm going to take is this deep blue shimmer right here this shimmer is so pretty it kind of reminds me of the ocean and this is going like right on the outer here like on the outer bit of this halo eye of course i'm using a brush because my fingers won't let me apply this so i'm just using a brush this is a morphe 224 brush i'm just kind of patting this in look how pretty that is i'm also going to take that on the outer edge over here again leaving that space right on the center for that teal blue shimmer to go i don't want to worry about blending it yet wiping off my brush 
And I'm gonna go into this center teal shade right here. Taking that on the same beautiful brush I've been using. And this is going right in between those two. I feel like this is all meshing together, which is not what I want. I kind of want you to be able to see that blue. So I'm going in with my finger. So hopefully you can really see that blue in the center. But it kind of just meshed into the other blue shade just not what i wanted but whatever it is what it is right now i guess i'm gonna go into that same 506 brush and kind of use this to blend those shimmers out on the lid it's a very pretty look not what i was going for really because i wanted the center to kind of pop more than it is but that's fine i'm gonna go ahead and pop on a lash and probably do an inner corner and brow bone highlight and i will be right back here is look number two i think it's beautiful i really wanted this to look like the ocean and i feel like i really did that with this look I love the blue colors. For the third look, I want to mix the blue and the purple. I don't know how that's going to turn out yet, but I guess we'll see. I'm definitely going to take this one off because I'm not ready to take this one off. This one's too pretty. And the highlight, the inner corner and brow bone highlight really added to it. I really love it. I feel like a white eyeliner with this look and like bare, like nothing on the lower lash line. Chef's kiss. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one off and then we can do the third and final look with the Creeps and Cross palette. We're going to do the last look, look number three. I don't really know what I'm going to do, <laughs> but I'm going to start off with this really deep purple shade at the end here. I'm going to take this on my V206 brush from Morphe and I don't know. I don't know. We're going to start packing this on the end here. Just deep. And I kind of want to use the other shades that I haven't really used yet, which would be this deep purple and the deep blue shade. But it's going to be quite difficult. I know it is because of just how deep and how pigmented these shades are. So I'm going to try my best. Hopefully we get there. I'm going to worry about blending later. I'm going to worry about that later. <laughs> I'm going to take the deep navy color now. Hopefully this looks good and I can work with it because bitch. And I'm putting that literally right next to this deep purple shade. Kind of like blending them together. They kind of look similar in like how they look on the eye. But I don't really know what I'm going for. Look at that. That's so weird. They look identical on the eyes. Even though they're two different shades on the eyes. Can you tell? Can you even tell that they're two different shades? Because I really cannot. I'm going to start bringing this blue in. Kind of whatever's left on the brush pigment wise. I'm also going to take my 506 brush from Morphe. And I'm going to try to kind of blend the purple on the end out as well with this and see what uh, happens here. Right now, they look so similar that it just looks like one shade on the eyes. It doesn't even look like two different shades. And I mean, is that a bad thing? I don't know. Is it a good thing? I don't know either. But I kind of like the deep grungy vibes that, you know, it's doing on them, the eyes. It fits the Scooby-Doo theme. These shades are so deep and dark and pigmented. Like, it's the one thing. These shades, so pigmented. Can you even tell that there are two different shades on my eyes right now? I don't think so. They look exactly the same. What I'm gonna do to kind of further blend this out is I'm gonna take this really bright pinky purple shade on the M506 brush and I'm kind of gonna see how I can use this to kind of blend the purple side out and then I'll see if I can blend the blue side out. I guess we'll see how that works. I mean so far I can see the purple more now that I use that like lighter purple shade to like kind of blend it but I am also getting a lot of fallout especially like right here from those deep dark colors which I mean for me is not a really big deal because I don't have any other makeup on my face but if you like to do your eyes last I feel like that's something to keep in mind and for the blue side of course I'm going to take this teal Hopefully that helps it show up a little more. 
kind of bringing whatever is left from that blue shade inward, you know? I kind of want to leave this really dark, but I kind of want, like, the inner to be lightly pastel -y. So for the inner, 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 inner portion, I'm going to take the light purple pink. Purple pink. I don't really know, but this is just going to go lightly, like, right on the inner portion right here just so there's like some color there so it doesn't look blank quite colorful here i'm gonna take a blending brush this one is spot cleaned this is the morphe v204 brush and i'm just gonna take this over top of everything just to make sure there are no harsh lines anywhere Kind of make sure that I can see those colors minus this area. And I feel like we should play with some shimmers now. Taking my NYX Glitter Primer on the same brush that I've been taking her, the LBE3. I'm going to take this and I'm going to pack it all over the lid, meeting up with that deep blue shade, kind of going over it just a little bit, but mostly keeping it on the main empty lid portion here. I did use all of the purple shimmers, so I'm not gonna really worry too much about repeating purple shimmers or blue shimmers. <laughs> I love the shimmers, so I, I obviously am going to gravitate towards that more, but I'm gonna take the deeper blue shimmer in this palette that reminds me of the ocean, and that is going right right there right on the end there kind of blending it into that deep blue shade i kind of got it here which i didn't need to do but it's there now so and for the inner portion i'm gonna take this very bright purple shade and i'm just gonna pop that right in the inner i also picked the purple shade with the blue shimmer particles to kind of mix with the blues in this eye look figured it would look very nice kind of blending these two shimmers together on the lid fun and fresh is what i'm feeling yes i also want to go into the highlighter again i'm gonna take the more like intense one because i feel like this look really calls for it I am going to pop on a lash now, so I'll be right back. This is the last look. I actually really enjoy the way this came out. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. It's very dark, but I really enjoy the way it looks. It looks really pretty. I like the way the colors kind of mesh together. And I really like the way the inner corner and the brow bone highlight really made this look even more so than it made this look over here this look was like art you know it was the art of blending you know this look was just like an easier halo eye moment this was like work you know like i'm really glad i made this look <laughs> So I don't know if I want to do cohesive eye looks because I am filming a video right after this one, but you guys let me know what your favorite look was. I feel like this one was my favorite look. I need a cohesive eye look for what I'm going to film after, or do I? I'm going to leave them. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then we can talk about... My final thoughts, and I already reviewed this, I want to talk about it a little bit, and that's it. So I'll be right back. This is the final look with the rest of my makeup done. I really love the way both looks came out at the end. I think they look really cool. And I'm really excited about being able to use this palette again, making three looks with it. I think it was so fun. And I can't wait to use the Ruff Row Raggy palette again. These two palettes are so good and they're on sale today for black friday i don't know how long that sale's gonna last but i do know that they were on sale for a very good price and if you love these tones and shades i don't think you're gonna be disappointed i'm actually wearing the jeepers lipstick also i don't know if it was the best choice with this look but it is very pretty as well these shades are so pigmented and you can get very very carried away very quickly but if you use a light hand i feel like you can get beautiful gorgeous purple and blue looks with this palette i love the scooby-doo theme scooby-doo is one of my favorites but the formula in here is where it's at these shimmers on my lids is incredible just 
patches the light beautifully and some of them are shifty and I love them. Glamlight is one of my favorite companies and they actually just revealed the Strawberry Shortcake collection. I was gonna buy the Muppets to review but I think I should buy the Strawberry Shortcake collection and if I can later on buy the Muppets stuff because I know you guys wanted me to try that out in a video as well but yes I am so happy with the outcome of these two looks and I'm happy that I got to play with this palette again if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below it really helps me out and it means a lot to me thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. It's like a very nice almost kind of what is that color called? I forgot. <laughs> I don't know man. I don't know what, what's happening here. I don't know if I like it or if you know, if I don't like it, if I'm gonna take it off, like what, what is, what is the dealio? What is the dealio? It's so dark. On the yes. Okay. If you use a lot, if.